Alrighty, and we're back with some more Star Trek Infinite. And actually... Yeah, all good so far. Let's see how things progress. Um, after playing last time, I was a little bit apprehensive whether or not I wanted to play some more. Uh, because it's very similar to Stellaris in, in so many ways. And the events are a little bit underwhelming. But let's give it another chance, a little bit more go. And the first things we need to take care of is our atrocious energy credits, uh, credits income. So uh, let's check in our planets, planets management. management where we are producing the most um, energy credits. Or where we are losing the most, either way. Uh, so Ogat is losing us the most energy credits, which is due to buildings, districts, pops, and jobs. All right, so some options here. It might honestly be to stability. I think stability does have a negative impact on the output as well. So we might want to take care of the planets with low stability. So let's check out uh, Ogat and Krios Prime. Where does it say Designation Romulan? Do I, do I have mostly Romulans on this planet? That, that's not good. We, we don't want Romulans in the Empire. Uh, let's see. So let's start with the one that is the worst off, really. Not on stability, but everything else. So, gut. Um, yeah, right. So we got a lot of jobs open. Uh, let's build a energy district. And let's get us something that gives us amenities. Say, hey, Gundafad. Welcome. How are you doing? Oh, let me turn on chat if, if I actually can. Can I? Nope. I have to do it myself. Just a second. Chat, 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 chat. Um. Oop. Oh, there we go. Covers a little bit of the screen, but that's fine. How are you doing today? Uh, we need something with amenities. And I don't think... Well, plus four amenities is not a lot. They are minus five, so we want something specific for amenities. Mm. Didn't we have something specifically for amenities? I mean, another volcanic shrine is definitely going to add, but I feel like we should have something. Ah, there we go. Commodity zone. I wanted to build these anywhere, everywhere, so uh, we'll have to see about that. Uh, I think I'm only blocking the outline there with the chat, so that should be fine. Right, let's see. This planet is costing us a lot of uh, energy. How are the jobs prioritized? Yeah, this is our farm world. So I can't... I can't set multiple priorities, I think. Only per line, basically. And nothing here produces... I mean, this produces amenities. Some research and some unity. Ah. The ruler jobs don't produce anything properly, sensibly. But I don't think I can do much about this. The amenity amenities need to go up and that should help this. And hopefully that helps our atrocious energy balance on this planet. Uh, but I'm not holding my breath for that. So we're not having too much income on everything else, so we can't really offset it by trade. What have you got going? Our scans show life forms in Tomara 5. The surface contains deep rifts and valleys. It's easy, so how about you go and check it out? 
Mysterious structure. Oh, I don't like that. That's very Borg. Various travelers have reported sightings of gigantic cubic structure moving through space, similar to, <laughs> to the one we encountered many years ago. It is still unclear whether it is simply an artificial structure or something more sinister. Um, structural integrity scan project. Track it in the log. Make this investigation our top priority. Investigation deal modifier added. Giving following effects. Sublight speed plus 5%. Minus 500 credits. Uh, we are lacking credits heavily, but we know. We have meta knowledge here. We know that this is the Borg, so uh, we should probably definitely absolutely make this our priority. Um, so what do we need to do for this mission log? Um, track this on map. So this should be pinging now. Yeah, so it is. So we'll take this ship... And go and survey this system like just straight ahead. We're we're not we're not looking at anything else anymore. That's that's what we need to take care of. Literally nothing else matters. I mean maybe wiping the Romulans off the planet of the Earth, but uh let's see. Um we should have species now. Yeah, okay. So we have Romulans and we have um our Klingons. So Romulans are everlasting. Leader lifespan plus 100 years. Okay, excuse me. Leader experience gain plus 33%. Okay, Romulans are rocking on that. Pop housing usage plus 20% just because they like to be alone. I understand that. Maybe I should play the Romulans. They have all the features I like in, in, in the world. We could make them Hurluk. Uh, so they become slaves. Uh, so they can't do military service. Uh, yes, uh, City Skylands, and I have City Skylands 2 on pre-order, so I'm very much looking forward to that once it releases. I, I mean, I've played more, but City Skylands has been the one I enjoyed the most. Um, before that, the, the last one I actually enjoyed was like one of the very earliest Sim Cities, like Sim City 2000 or something. Uh, let's see, military service exempt. Hmm. I don't know. A medieval one. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I feel like stuff. Uh, games like Frontiers. I think it's called. Yeah, I don't know. There, there aren't many that are worthwhile. I feel like the best one probably it's not exactly what you're looking for likely but uh, I feel the best one you're gonna get in that direction is Anno. Uh, Anno 14.4, 1404 is is one of the best ones but 1800 is also really good though that's outside your desired time period so these are unless you already know them and you know you don't like him uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much it so their upkeep goes down. Um, their upkeep goes down. I think they should be slaves. <laughs> oh my god, that whip sound. <laughs> Deary me. If you haven't tried Anno yet, absolutely grab Anno 1404 first. I think that was my absolute favorite of the whole series, and it holds up really, really well. And the next one I can recommend is Anno 1800, but all of them are really, really good. And they are um, simplistic in a way, but the uh, the whole economy, um, this type of people needs this thing. You need to now expand onto a different island to get that thing, or you need to trade, or uh, whatever else. Uh, it, it's really quite satisfying and not too overwhelming, uh, like some of these games tend to get. And it's really, really polished too. Um, and Anno 1404 should be very affordable, at least at, on sale. So, fully recommend that. We need to close this uh, border here. We have a bunch of influence uh, floating around, so maybe we... Has a high intel level about this mm -hmm, we have a high intel level. So we know they're inferior to us, ah. which is good. Thank you for the follow, and welcome. 
Oh, yeah, we need to take care of our energy credits. That My measures are not working, I fear. Um, let's go ahead and go and ratify some claims. I want to build a bridge, so uh, Kitumer isn't so far off anymore. So we'll just make a claim on this system here. They're really, really quite expensive, Jolan aren't they? True. Yeah, yeah, go away. Uh, maybe Let the Federation converse. is willing to help us a little bit. Um, extend an invitation to create a trade agreement. I don't know what that means. Because I don't get any sort of details things I get to set up. And we already have a trade. Uh, do we have a trade deal? This is the trade screen. Okay, this is a direct trade. Okay, so let's see. We have What do we have a lot of? We have a lot of uh, deuterium. So we could be giving them, let's say, 200 deuterium. And they give us some some energy credits maybe okay no the ethereum is worthless to the federation apparently uh so they're not willing to give us that uh let's check what are we trading we're buying a bunch of food we can decrease this by 10. nope okay <laughs> give me 20. uh look, or let's go with 18 maybe that should already decrease our outflow on energy credits here I think it's much more difficult to balance this in than it is in Stellaris, but maybe I'm just doing it wrong as well. Like, my sprawl is way, way, way too big. Um, so everything is a little bit expensive, more expensive than it should be. Well, that, that was a good dent. And for some reason, we just got a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of... Huh. Oh, we might have cleared a blocker. We have this thing where we get a lot of resources from clearing a blocker. So maybe that's that. Okay. Um, so this is Romulan. We don't like that this is Romulan, but it is what it is. We can't expand too much more. We really have to look out with the Empire Sprawl. But we should probably colonize more. However, we can't afford it. <laughs> uh, we are really not doing too well on all the resources. Ah, but we can upgrade our ships and I think we have the alloys to do so, so we shall. I have really bad news though. You can't have Bird of Praise with cloaking devices, which is, I think, like the worst thing about this game at the moment. Why can I not cloak as a Klingon with Bird of Praise. Excuse me. Alright, our ship is soon arriving here in the Ketai star system where we will encounter the Borg. Or something of the Borg, anyway. So what's costing us this much? Buildings, districts. Hmm. Trade is bringing in a bunch, but I think we're basically on zero if we didn't have the monthly trades, which we need to afford food. Um, okay, this is good. This is interesting. We have a bunch of unemployed pops. Now, ignore the flickering. I hope you can. And I don't give you any sort of, uh, you know, um, triggers here. <laughs> so we have available jobs, yeah? We have ruler jobs, mainly, and some specialist jobs, but we have only one worker job. But we have a bunch of unemployed people, most of which are Romulan workers. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the resettlement, and we're going to look for a place like Ugat, um, where we have nine jobs open, and five housing. So, we can send more of these there. More of our slaves, and they can become farmers over there, giving us more income. And I think we can add one more. It costs us 50 energy credits every time you click this, so be sure you want to click what you're clicking. Uh, but they are now gainfully employed over there. If we unpause, this should soon update our food income, I hope. 
Uh, let's check another place. I really like this. This is I don't know if this is in Stellaris. I haven't played in a bit. But this overview here really, really helps. So you know, okay, there are jobs open. Uh, there are houses available. So we can send some to Boreth, for example. Uh, the last unemployed Romulan slave here. And now we can get uh, to Krios Prime and send this guy over there as well. Uh, we should check Krios Prime and see why this has so little everything. I uh, will build a commodity zone and a city district and some energy districts, I think. So we bring up the commodities and amenities, which should help with stability. Uh, we bring up housing, we bring up jobs. So Krios Prime should be a little bit better for a while. So now let's hope that our food production actually goes up, as I hope it does, from sending more people over to... I think Ogat is our... Yeah, this is our farm world. Okay, it went down, actually. That is... Highly confusing. Why did it go down? Uh, hmm. Maybe I'd... Maybe I don't have enough farmer jobs. What do we have? Now, there's only clerk jobs open. Okay, so we need to build more agricultural districts here. And... Yeah... We're having some decent income. I don't know where all these uh, resources are coming from, honestly. They are they, they are seemingly out of nowhere. Let's check our mission tree if there's something we can do. Uh, alloy production up to 30. Now, that will take them a bit longer. Uh, we're definitely not going to get on positive relation with the Romulan Star Empire. We have an embassy, but no positive relations and no migration treaty with the Federation because Let the Federation is kind of stuck here. Um, the only thing we could do is, let's go ahead, we could offer them a trade deal, go for some resources that we have a lot of, for example, Deuterium, and we could just be like... Okay, they don't even want that for free. <laughs> they don't care. Um, so this doesn't directly equate to how much positive opinion they're going to get from us. Um, will you also give these things? Yeah, okay. Okay, we can get some, uh, some other information here. Let's Let do that. Converse. They are going to look at this now, and then we might get a thing going. We have a failed spy mission. Minus 100. What? I never sent a spy there. Hmm. I never ever sent a spy there. At least I can't remember doing that. I... Beta Zeta was established there. There's some... Oh no, there's the Borg. Um, okay, you're surveying this, so eventually you're gonna deal with this, maybe? It's a Borg sphere. Let's have a look at it. Um, a military and a science ship. Okay, so we need a fleet here. This, this ship can keep doing this, and then we'll just send it there. So it surveys, boom, 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 and then goes there, and then we can check out the Borg Sphere. Now the question is, will I trigger something I'd rather not trigger, or I better not trigger? Or Let us converse. will the Borg show up eventually anyway, you know? That's a, that's a question I'm wondering about. What can we do? Because this didn't go up much. Oh, I was reading this wrong. Uh, the minus 100 was their fail spam, so I mission. It's mainly border friction. So... 
Why is this stuck here? Relations. Positive relations. We are at... 275 and it's changing by zero for some reason. I don't get that. It should go up by 2.4. Wait. Wait, it isn't. No idea why. I can't get more envoys either. I don't have the technology. The, the, the Klingon 7 figured that out. There's no way to get more diplomacy going. Uh, system surveyed. It's a different system. It's up out here. Um, Let us converse. Okay, they have accepted this now. So we get their sensors. So we see a whole lot more than we did before. They see our stuff as well, but that's okay. Let us converse. Mind. Because now it's going up. We have established communications with another civilization. At least these signals appear to be signals. Okay. How shall we treat them? Uh, though we Klingons are the most courageous and proficient warriors in the galaxy, the Empire does not inherently exclude other worthy species from living within our borders. Uh, through acts of sheer bravery, it was once possible for heroic outsiders to earn their place among us, but with the, uh, the Kitume massacre changed everything. In the grim new age that is dawning, we may have no other choice but to choose the interests of our own kind first. Then again, the wise warrior knows that sometimes the only difference between victory and certain death is how many friends stand up to fight beside them. Um, we need more workers. Non-Klingon species can help us fill those roles. Uh, change species profile in the Klingon Empire. We need more specialists. Uh, the bravest to be our rulers. Outsiders will be treated like a colonel. Um, okay. Before we make this decision, let's check what our empire actually needs. Uh, so we go to the planets management. Push this over here. And uh, we check. Can we check it here? Is a good question. I don't know if we can. Planet size. Let's go with this. So, available job six, but it does not tell me which. Why don't you tell me which? Do I have to go? Oh, man. Do I really have to go? Okay. I have a bunch of jobs available. Let's check out uh, this plan because it has the most jobs available. Let's see what kind of jobs it is that we have available here. That's very... Okay, it's, um, it's mainly workers. So... Outsiders will give us their strength. We need more workers. I'm not sure what that uh, what that influenced right now, but let's see. Uh, first contact in the Trill system. Oh, very cool. We have come across a lesser warp-capable species in the Trill system. We must be forceful in establishing communication with them. Uh, recite our first contact protocol. Uh, let's see. Phaser cannon standing by. They'll have to part with some resources or we'll overload our phases uh, and send over a warning blast. So we could get some stuff here. No. We will recite our first contact protocol. Which I imagine as a Klingon is just some epic battle poetry which we're going to smack at them right there. Um, now we need an envoy. And we can only pull one from the Federation. Because we don't have any other. Uh, and we'll just see how it goes, right? So where are the Trill? They are up out here? There. This is where the Trill are. Um, okay, so with what we just said... The government screen shows our yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. The mirror gazes back. No one can save us but ourselves. No matter what alliances we have agreed to, the Klingon Empire is ultimately on its own. In If the bloodshed on Kitomir was has taught us anything, it is that we must be wary of who we put our trust in, starting first and foremost with ourselves, how we govern ourselves and our affair, who among us we choose to empower. Workers are the molten core of our society and our kind should prioritize them. Change... I don't like that it just changed the species profile and it's it's very it's very unclear, you know. Um so 
does this do something here? What does it mean when it says change the species profile? Uh, specialists are the racist edge of our empire. Uh, Klingon should be ruled by the honorable. Um, so honorable, strong, or spiritual. I think all of these are really great uh, options for Klingons. Uh, but I think that um, workers are the backbone of the Klingon Empire. It's 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 every Klingon warrior. It doesn't matter your standing. Every Klingon warrior matters. So, see, it didn't change anything here, but it changed something somewhere. I just don't know. And I don't like that. Paradox games are usually quite good at uh, communicating what, what's happening in tooltips and stuff, but here it's not... No, it's not really clear. It's not in the tradition thing. That's something we unlock with uh, Unity. But I don't... I don't know. <laughs> uh, very good. So let us converse. This is not going up anymore. But we are at 296, so we are close to it. Um let's offer them another trade deal. We'll give them some more Deuterium because that's really what we have to throw around. So let just give them converse. some hundred and enjoy. So they become friendly. Okay, our um Military fleet has arrived, so we'll just move them here immediately, and then we can start the special project and check out the Borg, which isn't a problem at all, ever. <laughs> Look at our birds of prey just slowly uh, rotating on, on their own axis. Man, I really love the Klingon uh, over overlay thing. All right, let's see. Um... Special project research, 30 days. Let us converse. All right, so they accepted our uh, trade deal and now we're in friendly because that pushed us up a whole bunch, which means we can offer a migration treaty, um, which allows their population and ours to freely migrate between the systems. And that is something we definitely need. Um, and they're also likely to accept it now. Um, new research. Fleet command limit goes up. Pop growth speed. Uh, simulator holodecks. Mm, no. I don't like any of these all that much. Let's go with fleet command limit. I still don't know exactly where we see how much ships we can have overall. Like, I haven't found this yet. It's kind of weird. I know there's a limit. It's just nowhere. Do they say? Okay, all right. The migration treaty has been accepted, meaning our mission here is done. We are hearts of a warrior. So uh, we finished this up, meaning um, followers of Kales Civic is replaced by devoted to Kales Civic, giving the following effect. Leaders produce plus two unity. Imperial Guardian produce plus 1.5 unity and army damage plus 20%. Um, I think... Why can't I scroll here? There we go. Doesn't really say what it was before, but it is a bit of a change. Um, but our opinion of each other changes quite a bit as well, so that's cool. Next is this, which already we have done. So we get that, and we immediately get the next one, Battlefield Sense. Many seem to forget that a Klingon does not boast force of body alone. Our force of mind is tested uh, in trials, such as the right of Maka. Um... And the lengthy meditations, the ability to enable star systems unseen is a skill we too have honed. And it's an important skill for sure. Uh, what do we get? Spy mission speed plus 10%. Increase recruitable spy caps by one. We don't have a single spy at the moment because we can't afford them. Um, planetary shield generator. Oh, I love that. I don't think we have them yet. And I don't know if we can build defense platforms. But we're going to go check it out. Um... All right. All right. Okay. There we go. Alloy cube. Our sensors have detected signs of life within the formidable cube and its scout ship. Our best engineer warns that the structure is an alien vessel like the one that attacked our missing in action ship in the past. 
a dishonorable maneuver. We have attempted to establish communication that it seems that the only static subspace transmission is played back to us in a loop is resistance is futile. Our researchers remain distrustful, but one of our warriors was uh, has made a convincing argument investigating such a structure is an opportunity to test the strength of our people against the unknown. Only Kales knows what might lie ahead. Uh, so we could beam aboard for a whopping 10,000 uh, research. We could beam aboard in full force, giving us 20 influence. We could beam aboard and contact them peacefully, giving us 10,000 unity. Beam aboard and gather samples, giving us 500 alloy. I think we will beam aboard in full force. We are clinging. Let's see. It's now clear that the structure uh, we have beamed aboard is an alien vessel. Glancing around, our crew has been met with an unfamiliar and unsettling sight. The ship contains no specific bridge or living quarters, instead housing an endless, uncountable multitude of cybernetic humanoids, all connected to the vessel by way of complex conduit systems. Our crew has also noted that the singularity... Uh, scout ship has initiated a departure sequence. All the cybernetic humanoids seem to be in a state of artificial slumber, using stasis pods similar to those found in the wreckage we recovered many years ago. Uh, spectrographic analysis indicate that this structure will be dormant for some time to become uh, to come. Uh, stay and investigate. Follow the scout ship. It would be unwise to leave without learning more about the cybernetic organism. Well, what could go wrong, right? If we stay and investigate. I feel like everything, but... Let us converse. All right, very cool. Uh, so the uh, Federation offers us a defensive pact. If either civilization is attacked, the other will automatically come to their defense. Um, we'll agree to that. It decreases galactic tension. Which there isn't none, uh, isn't any at the moment, so doesn't really matter much. Mm. Is there anything interesting to do on Kronos? Not really. Still not doing great on on our main resources here. So victory-wise, we are above the Romulans anyway, but behind everyone else, kind of. Doesn't matter much. Strategic foresight, yeah, all right. So, okay. Planetary shield generators. We don't have that technology at defense platforms. That's what I want to do again. So let's check um, this star base. And defense platforms. No defense platforms. Ah, okay. Open ship designs this is a really weirdly named button for this. Um, but we can build some. So let's go ahead and get our shipyard in Kronos, our home world. That should have the most defense platforms. So we'll build as many as we can afford, which I think is the whole thing. Uh, they do not cost us upkeep. At least as far as I can tell here. So we got six in queue. Meaning these will be added around the star base and they will engage in combat if combat is commenced. Now that we know that the Klingons are kind of this direction, we might want to also look into upgrading like Ogat Station. Um, you know. Everything around a planet, sort of. Oh, look at all the new people coming here. That's crazy. Dorians. That's cute. Klingon Empire is changing for sure. Lord 
A new tradition is available. And we are in the conquest tree now. So hero warship. Ship starting experience plus 500. It's not bad. Uh, chance to hit plus 5. Ship evasion. That is much better. At the terminus of all argument lies the reality that every dispute ultimately settled by which side has the ability to inflict greater violence. Asymmetric warfare may seem unfair to some, but that has that is the entire point. Um, all right, let's see what's going on here. War declaration. The Cardassian unit uh, union is declaring war on the Romulan Star Empire. All right, so that is obviously the right moment for us to also declare war on the Romulan Star Empire. Uh, let's check them out. Jolan True. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Jolan True yourself. So we don't have the influence to get another claim like this here. Jolan True. Uh, but yeah, we are still in a truce from our last war, which we very much won. Did I not select this? I thought I had. Oh well. Okay. Uh, let's check our leaders. Where are our leaders? At the bottom. They're the only one that don't have an F, so it looks a little bit weird. I forget. Can we afford spies? Yeah, we can. Let's let's get some spies, shall we? Uh, four plus spy level. Enemies counter espionage minus two. Spy level bonus against counter espionage. Okay, that sounds good. Wait, I don't have enough resources. Oh, they cost a lot of unity for some reason. Crux breakthrough, Kapla. One of our leading scientists by the name of Kurak has made a breakthrough discovery that will aid us in conquest of the galaxy. While tinkering with the frequencies of a subspace distortion modulation in preparation for an interspecies scientific exchange conference, our warrior configured the device to three new settings. A powerful warp field specialist with unmatched scientific abilities in subspace morphology. Kurak is prepared to launch widespread access to the new configuration of the Empire's choice. Uh, so, subspace pro blogs plus 25%. I don't know what that means. And the game doesn't know what that means either. Like, we're not getting any further information here. Uh, our impulse engines will be further researched. Improved energy production. That sounds good if, if it means this. Um, dilithium crystal chambers plus 25%. What does that mean? I think energy protect. This is all for the ships. Uh, so, dilithium crystal chambers plus twenty five percent. Let's get warp engines. Traveling between stars is important if you want to support anything. Um, you gotta get your ships to places. If you can't get your ships to places, then you can't do nothing. Basically, is what I'm thinking. Do they all cost? No, they don't all cost. Influence, but we could get us another uh, governor, I think. So this guy costs a bunch of energy credits, some influence, not too little either, and alloys, but it's fine. So now we got this lad here who's uh, doing nothing, and we can send him to Kronos. Uh, no, sadly, you can't just right click the system, you have to go to the planet and then. Um, Go and really help there. So indoctrinate pops. Ah, boy. Disorder on Kitomir. Infighting on the clans of Kitomir has escalated. The brink of a civil war. This does not align with the Klingon's Empire present goals. A whole divided against the fell will be less effective at conquering its neighbors. I am confident I can end the blood feuds for Kitomir, but only if I can bring down the swift but let of justice upon the instigators. Um, okay, we'll send... Vilka to uh, Kitumir. Which I think okay, she's one of our our governors. Yeah, she's that one. 
So we'll send her to Ketomir. And we'll send her to research this project. Well, we recruited her just in time, pretty much. So what's going on here? Are we still researching this? Or what? Can we just go and automatic survey again? I don't know. And the, mission, the mission thing doesn't really... Like, it doesn't say anything more. We'll just leave our, our birds of prey there. We don't really need them right now for anything else. Assimilate, assimilate occupied state. Oh no. Cardassian Union has been assimilated by the Cardassian. So the Bajoran Republic is no more or that is that is a little bit confusing. Like is the Car what's what's the Cardassian unit? Why does this play into it? That's weird. That was a weird weird message. I don't know. That was kind of odd. Let's keep going. Uh, right, I wanted to decrease our trade in food because we are now actually overproducing. So we can fully remove our buying of food. Um, and instead we can sell some more minerals. And hopefully offset our losses there. I, I mean, we have a lot of deuterium to sell, but we're not having a lot of income, so I'm kind of loath to increase that outpour. A construction ship. Uh, definitely build everything here. The mining stations, plus five minerals, and plus three energy credits. That sounds good to me. Why has this Borg sphere not attacked us, though? That feels weird and wrong. Okay, we have some buildings we can build. And we have some empire spread and sprawl to deal with. So I feel like... Oh boy. This has no amenities still. Let's build some more commodity zones. And some more forges? I mean, this is a mining world, so might as well. A silent alarm has been triggered. Yeah, we are being spied on in Kronos. Nothing to be done. We can't afford spies. Uh, Alida has gained a level. Very good. Governor Karek. Who is a party animal. Yeah. We made him into a party animal. Can you believe it? Uh, let's see. What else do we have? I wanted to build some more administrative buildings, but all these planets have their own issues. Ah, oh, here we have some space for administrative op op <laughs> districts. Problem is, like, they don't actually do all that much. They really don't. Very early on, we had the option to research uh, energy grids, or the equivalent here in this game. And we didn't. <laughs> we really should have. I'm now unhappy about this. Are we not even gaining one anymore? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we have five defense platforms built out of the ten that we are expected to have. Cannot build shield generators. Or were they added and just don't realize? Or is that a different thing entirely? Is that not a building? Show space building. Oh, okay, right. That, that does that. Okay. Onward. Our size momentum toward victory is likely more irreversible. Is likely now irreversible. The enemy star system are already dimming back to the blackness of vacuum as our energy. 
What? That was some war message. We're not in a war. Man, this game. This game sometimes. Okay, let's build up uh, the defense platforms on our Chrono Star Station. Okay, yeah, they don't add a lot. In terms of power. First contact event pending. We've been able to communicate with these lesser war pay uh, from the Trill system using our universal translators. They seem wary and have yet to establish visual contact with us. Perhaps they are aware of their own vulnerability in the face of the superior civilization. Um, verbally intimidate them. <laughs> uh, oof, they need us. They, wait, do we get these energy credits? With a down payment now, perhaps we'll cut. Or do we pay that? That is very weirdly uh, formulated. Energy credits gained. Why do I get the energy credits for giving them stuff? What? That makes no sense. That, that makes no sense. None. But at least the music is good. Paradox games usually have the good music, so. That is weird. What does that mean? Alright, but we're slowly balancing out again, at least. No longer deep in the red. So that's good. Um, This here should go up with City District, so... We'll build a few more of these. On every world, maybe. Every world that doesn't have any more building districts. Just get some. It's good investment in the future, you know. Especially on Kronos. Alright, uh, other starship stations, space stations to upgrade... We had some fights here in uh, Glintara and over in Krios. I think Glintara would be best. So we'll just build a bunch of these here. Well, we'll build one here and another one soon. Because we're kind of poor on alloys. But that's okay. The colonies are really expensive. Like five per colony. Yeah, I think a colony is, is the most expensive thing in, in the in the spread section. Let's see. I'm still not sure how how much further I want to play this, honestly. It's uh I want to see what happens with the Borg and all, but I don't know if, if it's super worthy to have multiple playthroughs of this. I'm just not sure. Maybe that already is the answer, you know? Like, with other games like Crusader Kings 3, I just, I just, I can't stop. Like, I get to the point where I'm like, okay, I would like to stop now. I would like to end the stream. I would like to take a break, but I just can't. Here, it's like, nah. I want to like it. But I think it needs more work. After weeks of furious hand-to-hand -hand combat with the clan leaders of Kitumer, all who would threaten civil war have been beaten into submission. Goblets of blood wine are already crashing over the feast tables as bygones become bygones. Non-aggression pacts have been signed between the formerly feuding clans. Kitumer is at peace again, mostly for now. Well fought. Okay, so Vilkaget, crime fighter. Army bill speed and army cost goes down. Oh, well, that's not bad. Close file. It's kind of sad. Ketomir, minus 30. Well, that's not... Oh, that's actually not bad. So we improve the governor or we improve Ketomir? Uh, it's a big question. Army bill speed and cost is... It's heavy, it's hot. I think we'll improve the governor. 
And then we'll bring them back to Kronos. And we'll check the Kronos jobs real quick. And we see that we have mostly workers. Um, but the production is the question. Like, who produces the most? I don't think it actually tells us here. Oh boy, it does, sort of. Oh my. Uh, the energy credits are really low that we're getting here. Technician jobs are mainly producing that. Which is who? These guys. So workers. So we send her to Kronos. And, well, we would if we had her selected. And she goes improve worker production. Which isn't super much, but, you know, we'll take it. How can the Borg be neutral? And why can I assign a leader? <laughs> no, I cannot actually. So how is your war going? Jalan true. Buddy, intervene in war. How would that look like? Okay, we could defend the Cardassian. What? Cardassian Yun Romula Star M. Uh huh. So we could go and defend Your the Romulan true. Star Empire. I mean, if you look at the, um, you know, the Cardassians have basically taken over everything, whereas the Romulans are only very slowly. Like they have one thing that they took. Boy, oh boy, that's not a lot. That's not going well for them. I would like more Borg, interac uh, Borg interactions. Low stability. Let's add some decisions here. Increase stability. But everything has less output. Oh boy. Why is the stability so low here? Is it the amenities? <laughs> um, we have zero crime. Resources from jobs. Fighting with nature. How do I... <laughs> okay, that's just how it is. Basically. Monthly energy credits minus 10. Okay, boy. That's not a great planet to be on. <laughs> uh... Overcrowding and low amenities. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the problem. So we'll wait until the city district is done, and then we build another commercial zone thing. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I think there's probably better Star Trek mods out there for Stellaris, if you want to play Stellaris but Star Trek, you know. I feel. Yeah, I'm just not convinced. Just not convinced. But we gave it a fair shake. I think. Let's see. First contact events. Visual contact has been established with the Trill Embassy uh, Assembly. Uh, by the looks of it, we should have no trouble overpowering the, situ uh, the civilization. For now, we shall enter civil negotiation. Okay. Uh, Trill Assembly plus 20. Uh, promote our successful first contact. I mean, this looks better. We get intel on both, but here we also get a bunch of resources. I don't understand how these things relate. Like, why do I get this? Why do I get the resources? Okay, so we hope this alliance brings both... What alliance? What? We look forward to working with you. Blah, 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 blah. 
Let us feast. We lose a bunch of food, which we don't have much of. Uh, the Trill Assembly opinion changes. Pick any competition, you will be defeated. Your strength impresses us. You're puny and you're... Let's go with that. Let's feast with them. Uh, okay, we have another new first contact going on. What do they want? The discovery of... Okay. Aliens, period, gives us pop growth speed. Because the Klingons just start mating like crazy because there's more aliens. Like, <laughs> come on now, what 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 is this event design? <sighs> Star Trek is all about encounters, resolving things, overcoming challenges. This is just weird. I mean, I get it. Okay, we're not the Federation. The Federation might act and react differently to these things, and there are differences between that. Uh, but. What? Like sometimes I look at games like Only Baldur's Gate 3 and I'm like, okay, I, I wouldn't be able to do better. I, w I wouldn't be able to create something like that. And then I see events like these and I'm like, okay, come on now. What is this? <sighs> yeah, I think that concludes it for me, really. Um... Stellaris is the better game. It's clear. Uh, I don't think the Star Trek here adds anything much. Yeah, you have the events. You have the races and everything. But again, you can probably find a mod for that. So, we're done with Stellaris. Uh, <laughs> I almost said we're done with Stellaris for today. No, we are actually done with, um, with Star Trek Infinite for now.